not gonna lie, it's really nice having an oversized office. Look at all the space behind me. Now granted, I still have to fill this space with things and stuff and all that good stuff, but let's talk about that later. Roll the intro. Hello guys, how are you? My name is David Franco from davidfran.co and that's exactly what today's video is all about. davidfran.co slash 2019. Click that link right below and it should take you directly to my New Year's goals. Yes, my goals for the next 12 months. I say should because you never know with technology. Things could be working one day, then the next thing, it's just magically not working. Anyway, just check out the link, I really appreciate it. Because goals are important to me, as they should be for you. Uh, so before we get into this video, pause it right now, okay? Pause it, well, in a few seconds, and list three goals right below in the comments that you're hoping to achieve in 2019. Because I strongly believe that it's important to have goals in life, um, it's important to strive for success, and probably most important of all, it's important to be happy. I mean, there's no excuse in the world to not be happy, and um, I just, think part of that happiness comes from achieving goals because guys, let's face it, life is short. Tomorrow is never, ever promised. So if you're thinking about creating videos, just start, just just get out there and create videos. If you're thinking about blogging, just start writing. Just start writing, nobody's stopping you. And if you wanna create music, create music. If you wanna do photography, go out there with a camera, just take pictures, create content. All right, create content. Well, honestly, that's what I'm passionate about. I mean, I've been doing this for probably what, like 13 years now. It's a long time, that's a long, long time. And I see no signs of myself stopping anytime soon, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, website design, graphic design, photography. I do it all and I love it all. Okay, so anyway, jumping into the um, main purpose of today's video, I wanna talk about my goals for 2019. Now, 2018 was a huge year for me. Huge year. I did not expect to buy a house. But let me just say this. It was a nice surprise. I mean, I had no plans whatsoever to buy a house this early in life. Okay, so technically, I did buy my old house. I, I was the uh, co-owner with my parents. My parents? My parents. Um, I was technically the primary on the uh, mortgage, which is pretty cool. But this is like truly my own house and my own space and I can do whatever I want with it, which is just really, really cool. Um, and of course, I'm extremely grateful for everything. I mean, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the support from my family um, and my patrons. Seriously, Patreon played a huge role in allowing me to get this house and I just think that's, that's insane. That's insane. And that's why Patreon to me is so powerful and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. I love you patrons, I love you guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk about 2018 too much. You guys already know everything that went on because um, weekend vlogs are kind of like a transparent window into my life. But then again, what kind of window is not transparent? Unless you've seen Bird Box when they paint the car with the black paint, that was actually pretty creative. Good movie, good movie. I liked it anyway. Okay, so moving on to 2019. First of all, I'm calling it Year of Partnerships. 2019 is my year to go big because I finally have the house that I've always wanted. I have the space that I've always wanted and this space is going to allow me to virtually and literally grow into new territory. Um, basically things that I couldn't do possible, that terrible, terrible grammar, David. Things that were not once possible will be possible with this new house because, well, I have more room for everything I want to do, including Twitch, and Twitch is going to be big with me. Twitch was a huge focus in 2018, hence why I didn't create as many YouTube videos as I normally do, and honestly, I don't regret not creating more YouTube videos because, well, to grow on a site, you have to put the time in, and to put the time in on Twitch, I had to take some time away from YouTube, so it's just part of life. Okay, for real now, 2019, guys, my goals for the next 12 months. Let's talk about them. Number one. Becoming partner on Twitch. Now, I've been affiliate for over a year now, and there's nothing wrong with being an affiliate. Being an affiliate's great. You can quite literally make money while playing video games, and I just think that's incredible. Incredible, incredible. I love it. And actually, Twitch revenue is quickly catching up to what I make on YouTube, which I think is amazing. I mean, if it continues to be that way, then perhaps in the near future, I can go full-time on Twitch. Water break. I'm kind of in the midst of <clears throat> having a cold, so you'll have to bear with me. Anyway, 
I am an affiliate on Twitch. I've been loving it, but I want more. I want more. And it really set in with me when I was in San Jose this past October for my first TwitchCon ever. Incredible event. I loved every minute of it. Except for standing in line for like five hours on the first day, but that's okay. Things happen. But when I was walking around the uh, expo, I kept noticing affiliate, 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 because it says affiliate on, on your badge. And it just kind of hit me. I want to stand out. I, I don't, I don't want to blend in with all the affiliates. And again, I'll say this kindly. There's nothing wrong with being affiliate whatsoever. I mean, it's better than being non-affiliate, right? I mean, it just, it just means you're doing something right. But I want to be partner. I want to be partner. So this year, 2019, I'm setting a goal for myself to become Twitch partner. I'm well on my way. Uh, my max viewers yesterday while playing Blackout during the afternoon, by the way, DavidSwitch.com. I no longer stream late at night during the week. That way I can reach more people, you know, around the world, which is really cool. My average um, max viewer count is typically like 50 or 55. But yesterday while playing Blackout, it was around like 66 which is really cool. And you need an average consistent viewers um, count of 75. And that's the last thing that I need to achieve to become partner. So in theory, I could be partner by maybe like March or April. Um, so of course I'm gonna put the work and the time in to reach that goal. So let's hope for the best. Okay, number two, partnering with Host Papa. Now, over the years, I've partnered with Squarespace and Bluehost, and I was an affiliate with GoDaddy and all that stuff. But I'm looking to consolidate my partnerships and start something new. I was presented a very good opportunity with HostPapa.com. Gotta be honest, I never even heard of them um, until I checked them out, and they actually seem to be really good. Uh, they're quite affordable, too, if you sign up for like a three-year plan. That's typically how it works with these hosting companies. I don't blame them. That's how they make their money. But um, anyway, I'm signing up with them. They are actually hooking me up with a partner account, which is really cool. So in other words, I am a Host Papa partner slash affiliate, uh, and I'm going to be promoting Host Papa throughout the next 12 months, which is going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to see what kind of numbers I can bring in. And the frankenmedia.com will be completely redesigned and hosted using hostpapa.com. Now, what's really cool about Host Pop is they use something called Elementor. I think that's how you say it which is a popular WordPress plugin that makes building websites even easier than WordPress allows you to do by default. Because I gotta be honest, I've used WordPress, I've used Squarespace, I've used Wix. I still think Squarespace is the easiest to get started, but um, for the newbies out there, WordPress might be a little difficult to get started with, but with Elementor, again, I hope I'm saying that right, um, it turns WordPress into a Squarespace-like design environment where you can literally drag and drop your elements, you can customize everything in real time, and I'm excited to try it out for myself. So, with that said, if I do have my Host Papa affiliate link live by the time this video goes live, I'll link it right below. Check it out, I appreciate your support. I realize the average person doesn't want a website. I mean, honestly, I think everybody needs a website. Even if it's just a domain, you need to claim your name in a domain. Um, even if it's not .com, because I don't have davidfranco.com, I have davidfran.co. .co just happens to work into DeFranco, which I love. But that's remaining on a, another platform because again, Host Papa will be used for DeFrancoMedia.com and I'll talk about that more in a bit. But um, anyway, I'm really, really excited about this new partnership. So shout out to Host Papa if you guys happen to be watching. I don't know if you are. Uh, but thank you so much for the opportunity and I cannot wait to begin working together. Um, I plan to start redesigning my website um, sometime within the next week or so. I'm just still in the process of catching up with house stuff and working in my basement and my living room and all that stuff. Okay, moving on to goal number three, exploring Facebook for creators. This involves another opportunity um, that actually contains, includes, involves, that's the better word, involves full screen. Yes, full screen. Okay, so full screen basically reached out to me and said, David, Facebook is looking for creators to sign up for their new program called Launchpad. Yes, Facebook is actually launching, I guess that's the pun, um, a video creators platform specifically for creators like myself, people who have been on YouTube for years now, and they're looking for creators to upload videos to Facebook. I mean, this should come as no surprise. Facebook has been entering the video market for years now. 
but uh, Launchpad definitely seems like their biggest attempt yet, and I'm excited to get started. I'm in the process of applying and getting my page set up, but in the meantime, this means getting a completely fresh start over at facebook.com slash David DeFranco. That's linked right below. So please, brand new page, like me, follow me. I appreciate it. Now my old Facebook page is technically gonna be online, but I'm not gonna use it anymore in terms of pushing my brand and publishing my YouTube content and blogging content and all that stuff. Uh, but only because I'm getting a fresh start with an actual Facebook page. Now for those who don't know, my current, um, well I should say old at this point, my old Facebook profile was just that. It's a profile meant for friends and followers, not likes. So in other words, I was limited. There are so many things I can't do on a profile page that I can do on an actual page. So I'm actually really glad Fullscreen reached out to me because this is honestly something I've been meaning to do for at least a couple years now. I mean, I've literally missed out on past opportunities because my profile can't do certain things that a page can do. So brand new start, brand new likes, brand new content. So I'm gonna please kindly ask you if you follow me and you support me, like my new page right below. And eventually I will be doing giveaways, I promise. I definitely wanna start doing giveaways in relation to Facebook throughout 2019. So stay tuned for that um, as time progresses. Obviously I'm just getting started. It's gonna take some time to fully transition because my, my old Facebook page I've had for years now so obviously, getting a fresh start with anything is gonna to be tough, it's gonna to take time, but I can promise you, it's gonna be worth the wait. And I cannot wait to see where my new Facebook page stands, what, maybe like six months from now. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So support me, I appreciate it, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And finally, reigniting the Franco Media. Do you remember thefrankomedia.com? If not, I don't blame you at all. The Franco Media is technically the name I do business under. Um, I always put it in my uh, little footers on my website. And actually I have a DeFranco Media sign on my um, office away from home, which I don't really use that often anymore, but I'm in a lease. I, I, I can't get out of the office right now, so I'm looking for a way to repurpose that office space, but that's not a huge concern, I'll do that later. Uh, but anyway, DeFranco Media is my name. I mean, that's, that's what I do business as, and I've never really taken the time to design a well-designed thefrankymedia.com website that represents my work for graphic design, web design, and all that stuff. Well, sometime in 2019, realistically speaking, I'm gonna be starting in a week or two, like I said, with Host Papa. I love that name, Host Papa. It's kind of like Papa Puff for those who watch my weekend vlog, so it works out really well. Um, anyway, with this fresh start with thefrankymedia.com, I'm looking to not only push my graphic design services, you know, in terms of design, website design, all that stuff, but I'm also looking to create like an all-in-one uh, knowledge base of things that I can share, like uh, free, free fonts that you might find interesting, um, stock videos, stock photography, tips on how to grow your blog, tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. That's exactly why it's just called DeFrancoMedia.com. I've never been into DeFranco design or anything like that. I like the name media because that technically allows me to explore all areas of design and media and all that good stuff including hopefully buying a new chair sometime soon for my office. This one's a little creaky. Anyway, long story short, defrankymedia.com will be getting a fresh start. I'm not gonna give too many details right now because the website still has a long way to go, uh, but I am in the process of getting my account set up with hostpapa.com. So expect to see an early preview of the website, possibly by late January. And to wrap up the blog post, because I'm technically looking at the blog post, again, davidfran.co slash 2019, right below. I just said, and everything else, dot, dot, dot. Because as a content creator for over 13 years now, you never know what tomorrow brings or next month or next year. I mean, you never know. Because I'll say it again. Did I expect to buy a house last year? No, I didn't. And honestly, that's, that's what I love about my self-employed um, career as a content creator so much. You never know what tomorrow brings. I mean, I could get some opportunity today on Twitch because I'm going live in about an hour after I have lunch. Or I could get an opportunity in my inbox tonight or tomorrow. You never know. You just need to put yourself out there and I cannot stress this enough. I'm gonna say it again. Tomorrow is never promised. So what are you waiting for? Get out there, start creating content, create a website, 
take up photography, start ma making video, just write, write, write a blog. What's stopping you? Are you, are you going to spend every day just sitting on your butt watching Netflix? Not that there's anything wrong with that because I love me some Netflix. But that's exactly why I'm redoing my Twitch schedule. I only stream during the week now from the afternoon into the early evening hours because my mornings are reserved for days like this working in my office, recording video, working on websites, blogging and all that stuff. Then afternoons all about streaming. Then the nighttime I have to myself, which honestly I'm loving. It's some downside for myself to just um, escape for a bit, enjoy some Netflix and of course get some work done or work, work on my house and stuff like that. So I think that's why it's really nice um, having a schedule for yourself or a routine. I don't like schedules, I like routines. Um, so anyway, I guess the um, moral of this video is to just get out there, start creating content, don't be lazy, please, don't be lazy. Um, th things don't just magically happen. I didn't magically grow my YouTube channel over 13 years. I didn't, I didn't magically grow my Twitch channel. I didn't magically bring over like 600 patrons on Patreon, or is it 700 now? I just, I just know it's up there, and I'm incredibly grateful for that. It's because I put the time and the work in. This stuff doesn't happen by itself. I didn't get lucky. It's just, I don't, I don't, I don't like when people call others lucky. Uh, chances are pretty damn good that person worked for their success. And the same could be said for me and for you. So get out there. Start creating something. I mean, the worst you could do is fail. I failed multiple times. And honestly, I'm going to fail again in the future. I love failing. I do. Because failing teaches me what to do or what not to do. And then I grow from there. So I'm just going to say this. If I can do it, so can you. And guys, I'm not even some big YouTuber, some big Twitch streamer. I'm just a dude who's enjoying life. So thank you so much, guys. Here's to a very successful 2019. Like, all of this would not be possible if it wasn't for your amazing, amazing support. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Here's to continued success in 2019, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.